What's up everyone and good morning. This is Khurram from my Gadgets World and this video is about showing you actually all the features that are there in the holiday update. So without any delay, we're going to start with the Park Assist upgrade and what it does is gives you this 3D high fidelity representation. So why not let's just begin with that. I installed this update last night and uh, talked about all these features, but I want to show you guys actually how they work. So let's just go with the first one and the software update is 2023.44.30.1. This includes this update within it. So 2023.44.30 was included in this update and I'm going to talk about all of that. So let's just begin this video and make sure to like and subscribe the channel and that's going to help me a lot. Okay, now let's just put the car in the reverse to try the first feature which is the park assist uh, upgrade. <laughs> Wow, what is that? Okay, so let me show you guys that I'm in my garage right now and uh, there is concrete floor right there. Um, I have a car, the Model Y long range uh, parked in the driveway and this is what it is showing me. And uh, yeah, I mean, if you look at that uh, release notes, how it shows like neat and clean, this right here, I don't know what it is on the left side. Um, car yeah boxes it at least gives me the clear view but honestly it's more confusing when i'm looking at this 3d um constructed view versus what i can see from my naked eyes and actually like looking at the camera is much more clearer so but well this is what you're looking at when you're looking at that um the upgrade the 3d um representation built using all these cameras that are around your car so let's just drive and see if it gets any better when we are outside and also let me change the view because I'm in the uh, dark mode. So I want to change that to the light because it is for the daytime. So let's do that. Okay. And now let's put it in the reverse. Yeah, it's kind of same. Um, you can see how it is on the left side, unknown stuff and not pretty clear view. And I'm f really away from my uh, front right now, front wall of my uh, entrance for the house. And this is still showing red here. I mean, um, if I park right here because it says like, okay, this is red in the front. Oh, um, I can't even close the garage door. But I'm just doing this commentary so you can see this feature, how it works. I'm going to back, back up my car. It says the park assist is degraded and that's because, you know, the wall and the boxes around it. It's going to get better when I get out. So you can see now I'm in the... Uh, bright broad sunlight and those uh, warning signs are gone i have to put my seat belt on okay so you can see that the car is parked next to me so that's really a uh, good view 3d view that i can see the car but it's not uh, as accurate uh, the distance that is there i mean yeah it shows something is there there's grass here uh, in the bag, I don't know what that is. That looks like Pokemon. Uh, I don't know, Pokemon or Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Look at this right here. <laughs> it kind of gives the 3D image and it's getting closer to my car. I think it's going to eat my black uh, Model Y long range, but it's funny. I'm, this first feature, honestly, not impressive. Uh, don't really like the way it does the 3D uh, view of the cars around me or objects around me. It's uh, It's not that great. And it on, it's only available when you're in the lower speeds. So that's the first feature. Let me go to maybe, you know, the other car that is parked there. See what kind of view I'm going to get. And it's only available when you're driving slow. So now you can see I have a car on the left. And I have to put this in the reverse to see that park assist. So let's just do that. Okay, now I'm in the reverse and uh, it shows me the half image of that truck or car. It is a truck um, ridge line. And really look at the truck, how it is and look at this. So I think I'm going to be just moving on and I'm not going to be using this feature as much. So I don't know how this is helpful. 
uh, the 3D view. Uh, what we want is the one where it actually shows you clearly, you know, the 3D view. And what Tesla actually gave us, it's, uh, it's a bummer. So let's talk about the next feature. Okay, so let's see what we have next. So I'm gonna go in the software and in the release notes. So Apple Podcast, that is the next one. So it is available when you can see right here, the purple icon here, and you can also see from here. So we're gonna click on it. And this is asking you for the QR code. So I'm just gonna go and use my phone to scan it. It's gonna take me to the apple.com. So this is where I'm gonna be activating the, you know, the Apple ID using this QR code and It's asking me for the sign-in information, so I'm gonna put that in. It just asked me to allow it, and I just allowed, and it's uh, signed in, and you can see it is doing the refresh here. So now I can listen to the podcast. It is um, different than how we have the Apple Music. And then we have the Apple podcast. So this pretty um, brief, I don't have to go in details. Uh, you can browse your uh, podcast, your favorite, um, you know, the podcasters that you wanna listen to, and that's there. Okay, now let's go to the next one. And that is, go to the software in the release notes and let's see what's next for us. Okay, we have the new game, the uh, Castle Doom Bad game. Um, you guys can explore this. It requires the controller for the players. Then we have the Tesla Arcade update where you have now the cyber truck, including in the, the beach buggy racing game. So you know, instead of other Tesla models, now you have the uh, cyber truck in there. So that's not really a big update, but it's there. Then this one is really fun one. Uh, I really like this, the custom lock sound. So I'm gonna show you how it works. So let's go to the uh, toy box. And in the toy box, we have to go to the uh, boom box. So in the boom box, we have this new thing. It's called lock sound. So I have it on quack. Um, you can enable it or disable it. Um, so let's say when you lock your car, it usually, you know, there's a sound for the Teslas when there's a, there's that beep that comes out. Now you have like applause, you have the goat sound, and it's actually playing outside if I lower my window. Quack, applause, there is the goat sound, there is uh, there's uh, this right here, I mean there are couple of these that you can play and when you lock the car it's gonna play that sound the best thing is that you have the USB option now so when you put a file in the USB it has to be named um, specific so if you go to the software it explains in the release notes how that file name needs to be saved so that file name needs to be saved as lockchime.wave so when the file is saved like that and it has to be less than 1 MB one megabyte of the file size. If it is greater than that is not gonna take it. So it has to be lower than one megabyte. And you save that in the USB drive that is here in the um, in the dashboard here, not the dashboard, what do we call it? Uh, glove box. So yeah, in the glove box, you take out the USB, put it on a computer, put your favorite sound and rename it as lockchime.wave, less than one megabyte and put that in here. But right now I'm gonna try the duck sound. So let's go in the toy box and let's try um, I'm gonna try goat. Okay. And you can also replace that if you wanna replace that with the horn sound, that was there already. But let's just try this, uh, where we're gonna move away from the car and it's gonna lock itself. And let's see what does that do. I'm gonna reverse because I'm in my neighbor's uh, driveway. better here <laughs> so 
So the car locked and there was that sound, the goat sound. It's not that loud, it's just subtle, but uh, it just did that. I don't know if you guys heard it or not, but uh, when the car locked, it played the goat sound. So that's that, let's go and see what other features we got. Okay, the next one that we have is the automatic 911 calls. It's gonna call automatically for emergency when you're in an accident, so that's pretty good out there. We have speed cameras on your route, so when you're driving on your map, you're gonna be able to see speed cameras. I don't have any in my neighborhood, so I can't see it, but in order to activate it, you have to go here in the menu and go to the navigation and make sure that uh, your online routing is enabled so you have to do that right here the online routing this needs to be enabled to know that traffic conditions if you have a camera a uh, speed camera okay so that's that now let's go back it's just too much going back to the release notes okay but the next one is the alternative routes while driving oh no actually it is the trip planner on the cell phone so the tesla app updated just now and um, i can now see that if i go in my car and I can send the navigation to my car. So you can see right here, I have this location. And on my location, now what I can do, I can navigate to, let's say if I wanna go to Walmart, this right here. So it is giving me the option to like, okay, car location to the Walmart and I can edit trip. I can edit trip and I can add another stop now. Uh, let's say I want to go to the Best Buy. So I'm going to do done. And after that, you can actually send this from here to the car. So I'm going to press this button right here, send to the car. I hope it works. Yeah, it's sent to the car. And let's see if it is there. Oh, it's there. So I like this feature so much. It's really practical. You can just go ahead in the phone application, plan out your trip, and it actually shows you when you're planning the trip that how much battery life you're gonna have. So this is pretty good because you know it in advance so you can charge your car. Mostly people charge the car up to 80%. Then, you know, if you feel like you wanna charge more so you can charge it up to um, 90% depending on, you know, where you're going. So that's pretty neat feature. So that's there. Now, another feature that is for the more cameras that you can see in the live view. So I'm gonna show you that. The car needs to be in park. And for that, you can see right here, the live camera. Now you have two more pillar cameras added. You can see here. So you tap on this and you're gonna be able to see it. It's refreshing because I'm already in the car. It should be outside the car when I'm doing the live view. So the car is on. It, um, you, but you get the idea how you can see all these cameras. Uh, I can actually go out and show you that. Maybe let's do that. Because the car needs to be locked. You know, live view is for that. Um, if you are not near your car, you want to see what's going on around your car. I heard the goat uh, sound. So now you can see the view. You know, all these cameras. And you can also see now this, uh, the pillar cameras are here too. So for the left and right, these pillar cameras are working. And if you press this button, you have the view for all the uh, other cameras. For the front, for the, these are the fender repeater. Uh, cameras and then you have the back camera so you can see all of that or you can just see this uh, the the a the pillar cameras i don't know it's called a pillar or b pillar or the one right in the middle of the doors so that's that so that's all and now we have another thing that i want to try it is for the blind spot i actually did that um tonight uh, last night when i was driving it is uh it's still distracting because it shows you on the screen that if there's a car in your blind spot or not so i'll put the video here so you guys can see how it works you press the uh, indicator left or right it shows you you know the red lining uh, on the camera screen that uh, whether you have a car there in the blind spot or not uh, i'm actually looking over the shoulder left and right not looking at the screen when i'm making those turns so i don't know how practical that option is but it's there so that's all we have from this video guys make sure to hit the like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in another one until then peace out